Okay, so hello guys. So ngayon na isosolve natin itong example problem number 3 now using the conjugate beam method. So according to the problem, a beam 15 meters long is simply supported at its end. The beam is loaded with a downward vertical load of 120 kilonewtons at a point 10 meters from the left support. The max so yung tanong, mga tanong guys, is letter A, the maximum deflection is located at what distance in meters from the left support? Letter B, calculate the maximum deflection in millimeters. Letter C, calculate the rotation of the beam at the right support in radians. So naalala nyo guys, no, itong problem na to ay sinol din natin sa double integration at saka sinol din natin to sa moment area method. So gusto ko lang i-emphasize na pareho dapat guys yung mga lalabas na numerical value. no. Tapos yung sign sa double integration method at saka yung sign na lalabas dito sa conjugate beam method ay dapat pareho lang din. No? Sa moment area ay maaaring iba yung sign nila no? kasi nga um, iba yung... Um, sign convention sa moment area method. Okay. So, ang muna natin gagawin ng course is kailangan natin isolve na yung mga reactions dito sa support A at saka sa support C. Okay. So, isosolve natin siya guys yung ating mga reactions at eto na nga yun. Okay. So, sa support A, 40 kilonewtons yung ating reactions. Support C ay 80 kilonewtons. So, ito yung tinatawag natin guys na real beam. So, ang gagawin natin dito is gagawa tayo ng conjugate beam. So, so since hinge dito ang simple support siya, magiging hinge pa din siya sa ating conjugate. Ito is roller and simple support din siya. So, magiging hinge din siya sa ating conjugate. Okay? So, gagawa tayo guys ng M over EI diagram at yun na mismo yung ating magiging load sa conjugate beam. At ito na nga guys ang ating conjugate beam. Okay? So, uh, ito is the, uh, itong nasa taas is the moment diagram ng 40 kilonewtons. Tapos, ito is the moment diagram naman ng 80 kilonewtons. So, that is, kaya nga, 40 times 10 is 400. Ito yun. And 80 times 5 is 400. So, dito tayo nag-clump, guys, sa support B. Okay? So, ito na nga, guys, yung conjugate beam natin. Ayun. So, again, this is the simple support na hinge and this is the simple support na roller. Okay, so so take note guys, so gusto ko lang emphasize lang din na yung ating um na yung moment diagram above the horizontal must be uh, yung direction niya is upward. Kapag ka, yung moment diagram is dito sa baba, downward dapat yung direction no? So sa case na to guys, no yung kanyang direction must be upward kasi baka, ma, baka isipin nyo siya na parang load sa real beam. No, hindi. So usually kasi kapag ka-load sa real beam, kapag nasa pa, ibabaw, ay downward yung kanilang direction. Pero dito sa conjugate beam, no, kapag yung moment diagram ay nasa taas, upward yun. Kapag yung moment diagram ay nasa baba, that is downward. Okay, so of course, kailangan natin guys, no, i-compute yung ating mga reactions dito since this is hinge and this is roller. Okay, so makukuha natin si reaction at A by uh, summation of moment about point C. Okay, so ito na nga yung guys, that is RA times 15 minus yung ito, itong moment ito, 400, 1 half times 400 over EI times 5 times the distance nga ng centroid neto, wherein nandito nga yung ganyang centroid, which is 2 thirds of 5. So ito is itong load na to. Okay? Tapos, minus 1 half times 400, ito yung guys na load, over EI, times 10, times, okay, distance ng centroid neto is 5 plus 1 thirds of 10. So, kaya nga, ganyan yung ating 1. Okay, equals to 0. Okay, so, bali, R sub A natin ay 4,000 over 3 EI. So, kaya yan yan, yan, yan guys. Okay, then para makuha si R sub C, meron nila lang guys, of course, you can have a summation of forces Y. We know na R sub C, pareho silang downward ni R sub A, no? R sub C plus R sub A is equals to 1 half times, okay, so itong, itong load na to, that is 1 half times 400 over EI times 15. Kasi di ba triangle naman tong malaki, okay, itong load na to, yung Dalawang triangle na pagsama, triangle pa rin yun, guys. Okay, so yung kanyang formula is still 1 half base times sign. Okay? So, our sub natin, guys, na nalabas dito is 5,000 over 3 EI. Okay? So, yun.
Okay, so ang unang tinatanong guys sa problem is yung maximum deflection, yung location ng maximum deflection from the left support. So hanapin natin guys kung nasan yung maximum deflection dito. So i-assume muna natin guys na yung maximum deflection ay nasa first segment. No? So kung hindi naging totoo yung assumption na yun, that means nasa second segment na yung ating uh, maximum deflection. So yun lang yung gagawin natin guys. So bali ba alam naman natin na... Yung, dito sa conjugate beam, yung shear is equals to the slope. Diba? Alam natin that, that at maximum deflection, the slope of the tangent is equals to zero. Kasi nga, horizontal yung ating uh, magiging tangent line kapag ka uh, maximum deflection. Okay, so what ano, unang gagawin natin guys is of course, i-assume natin that, that the maximum deflection is at uh, first segment, that means yung x is less than or equal to 10 meters. Diba? 10 meters man to. Okay? So, yun so guys, no? So, ang gagawin naman natin is, ikakat natin dito. So, bali, assume natin na ito yung x. So, tatawagin natin siyang x max. Yung x is yung distance nga. x max natin is yung distance nga ng maximum deflection from the left support. Okay, so of course, itong height na to ay kailangan natin, guys. So, by ratio and proportion, makukuha naman natin itong height na to. So, bali, no? Ayun, so bali, ito yung um, ratio and proportion niya, guys. Dito tayo, yo. Okay? So, bali, itong triangle na to na malaki is similar to this triangle na maliit. So, 400 over EI is 210. Ito, 400 over EI is 210. Is equals to y is to x max. So, ang nalabas guys dito is y is equals to 40x max over ei. So, ito na nga guys yung y na nandito. So, ito yung y na to is yung height dito. Okay? Sa kung saan tayo nag-cut. Okay? So, alam natin guys, no? Since, since yung location man ng maximum deflection yung nahanap natin. Okay? So, of course, ibig sabihin nun, yung tangent, yung slope ng tangent line doon at maximum deflection is equals to zero. Di ba? Uh, alam naman natin yan mula pa nung uh, double integration method na kapag ka maximum deflection, yung tangent line doon is horizontal and that is equal to zero na yung slope. So, yun, so alam natin dito sa, sa, sa conjugate beam method na yung shear is equal to the slope and that is equal to zero. Okay? So, ayun, so yun, ikakat nga natin siya guys. And of course, yung shear yung set natin to zero kasi yun yung slope. Okay? So, by summation of forces, y equals to zero. Ito na nga. So, let's ask, i-assume natin guys dito that downward is positive. So, ayun. So, assuming downward is positive. So, v, okay, is positive plus yung r, r sub a natin. Okay, ito na nga yung r sub a. Minus, of course, minus siya kasi paakyat. Downward mo natin yung positive. So, minus yung area nito. That is 1 half times 40x max over EI multiplied by x max equals to 0. So yung lalabas dito guys na x max ay 8.165. So ibig sabihin, yung maximum deflection natin guys is located at 8.165 meters. So tama ba yung assumption natin na yung x max or yung location nga ng maximum deflection is located sa first segment? Di ba nga, in natin kanina, -assume, assuming lang tayo kanina, guys, that the x, nga, that the, the, assume that delta max is at x less than or equal to 10. At lumabas nga, yan, 8.165. So that is less than 10. So tama yung ating assumption. Okay, so gusto ko lang remind kayo, guys, na kapag mali yung assumption natin dito, hindi, for example, ang naging result dito ay 11 point something or 12 point something. So that means, hindi, wala siya dito yung ating maximum deflection. That means, nandito siya sa kabilang side. So kung nandito siya sa kabilang side, no, kailangan mong ulitin yung buong process. Bas, baka kasi sabihin nyo, ah, kung ano yung lumabas, 12 point something, yun na yun. So hindi, no? O ulit, kasi ya, take note, na-arrive na mo yung 12 point something na yun nung nag ka sa first segment. So mali yun, guys. So gusto ko lang sabihin, no? Kasi, ano, baka, for example, makamit na kayo ng problem na ganyan. Okay, so yun. So, para sa letter B naman, Ang tinatanong is yung maximum deflection mismo, guys. So, maximum deflection. So, of course, no, delta max yung ating hinahanap. So, 
Of course, dun, since nakuha na natin kanina yung ating hex max, ito na nga, yung location nga ng ating maximum deflection, edi, and that is 8.165, edi yung moment naman yung hahanapin natin. Bakit? Kasi alam natin dito sa conjugate B method na yung maximum, maximum moment is equals to the maximum deflection. Yung mga yung moment is equals to the deflection. Yung shear is equals to slope. Okay? So all we have to do is Pag moment tayo dito sa point na to, so ito na nga, summation of moment equals to zero, at ang lalabas guys ay ito. Okay? So, ayun lang natin, no? So, ito is positive, M max is positive, plus yung moment nitong reaction sa A na to is 4,000 over 3, ay, times X max, minus, kaya siya minus guys, kasi ito yun, itong load na yun, mag moment siya dito sa point na to, and that is, Opposite siya sa ating positive sense ng moment. Okay, so minus one half times base time side man to guys, no? So 40x max over ei times x max times yung distance ng centroid neto papunta dito, that is one third nga of x max. Okay? So, ayun. So, ang gagawin lamang guys, of course, is isa-substitute natin yung x max. Alam natin na it is 8.165. Tapos substitute natin yung EI, which is 140,000. Ito is galing lang dito sa ating given. Okay, so sabi dito sa ating given nga is E nga, it is 200 gigapascal and I is 700 times 10 to the 6. So, ito na nga guys yung kanyang computation para sa EI. Okay, so kinanvert ko na siya yung uh, E natin is kinanvert ko to kilonewton per square meter and yung I natin ay kinanvert ko to meter to the fourth. So, na kaya naging 140,000. So, ang lalabas ito, guys, of course, is M max, which, which will be in meters. Okay, so ito na nga yun, that is negative 0 0.05184 meters. Okay, so syempre, guys, no, delta max ang hinahanap natin, that is the maximum deflection, which is, sabi natin, that is nga equal to maximum deflection, maximum moment. Okay, so ibig sabihin, no, yung ating final answer dito, guys, is delta max is equals to the maximum M, okay, wherein that is equal to negative 51.84 millimeters, no? Ito kasi in meters, so kinonvert lang siya to millimeters, so times 1,000. Okay, so kaya ito negative, guys, kasi ang ibig sabihin niyan is downward nga yung ating deflection. Di ba nga kung naalala nyo, sabi ko sa nakarang video, na yung uh, conjugate B method, yung kanyang sign convention ay kapareho lamang ng double integration method. Okay? So, ayun. Okay, so para naman sa letter C, guys. Okay, so wait lang ha. If you want to screenshot nga pala, no, pwede nyo screenshot. Okay, so ito yung letter B. Okay? Tapos yung letter A ay... Okay, bago tayo magpunta sa letter C, guys. Okay, so para sa letter A, ito yung solution. Ayan. Okay, that was naman yung pagkuha lang ng reaction, guys. So, you can screenshot. Ayan. Okay, so, doon tayo, guys, sa pangatlong tanong. Okay, so, okay, so, ang pangatlong tanong natin, guys, dito is to calculate the rotation of the beam at the right support in radians. Ang ibig sabihin na itong rotation is the slope no, sa may right support. So yung right natin ay nasa support C. No? Itong support C. Doon sa kabila. Doon sa kabila. Okay. So ito nga yun. Okay. So paano natin siya masasolve guys? So obviously, no, ang kailangan natin dito is the theta C. No? Kasi nga that is the rotation or slope na support C. Okay. So, di ba nga kapag nag-compute tayo ng slope, that is equals to the shear. Okay, so ito na nga yun, guys. So, slope is equals to shear. And take note, guys, no, kapag ka, uh, di ba, ito nga yung ating beam, no, ito yung ating conjugate beam. So, ang kailangan natin dito is yung shear sa may point C. And take note, guys, yung point C is sa support siya mismo. So, ibig sabihin, no, yung shear na hinahanap natin is yung mismong reaction, guys. So, yung mismo reaction, yan na mismo yung shear na hinahanap natin. So, all we need to do is, ayun, so theta C na hinahanap natin is equals to the shear at C, which is equals to the reaction sa C, wherein yun na nga yung 5,000 kilonewton square meter over 3 EI. Okay, so of, of course, isasubstitute natin yung EI, which is 140,000, and lalabas yung theta C natin is equals to 0 0.011 
90 radians. Positive. So, ibig sabihin, guys, yung tangent line nito ay positive yung slope. So, nakaganito yung tangent line, guys. Okay? Nakaganyan. Okay, so that's it. So, I hope naitindihan nyo, guys, yung explanation. So, actually, no, sinoon ko na lang to sa ito. Pre-resend ko na lang kasi uh, napagod ako sa kakaulit, guys, ng video. Ayun. Oh, namali kasi ako sa unang video, tapos nasoon ko na hindi. Yan na lang. Okay, anyway. So, yun na. Okay, so dito tayo, guys. Uh, yun, so yun na nga yung sagot natin sa example problem number 3. So, if you want to try, guys, you can try this problem using the conjugate beam method. Magandang pang practice to, guys. No? So, using conjugate beam method in the beam shown, compute the following. So, determine the slope at D. Okay? And then determine the deflection at B in inches. Okay? So, ito yun. Okay, so... So, para sa mga estudyante ko, no, again, no, magbibigyan ko ng plus points sa mga kuha ng tamang sagot. So, comment kayo sa baba sa my comment section itong YouTube video na ito. Okay? And then, yun. Okay, then para naman sa mga uh, hindi ko estudyante, okay lang kahit mag-comment kayo, guys, na no, magandang pang-practice to. So, ayun, mag reply ko sa inyo kung tama yung sagot nyo or hindi, no? So, ayun. So, comment pa rin kayo guys sa, sa, sa YouTube comment. Okay? Okay, tapos. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe guys sa aking video. Sa aking, ayun, sa video na to, ilike nyo guys sana and isubscribe nyo na din no, para um, dumami yung uh, subscribers ko guys. No, para, ayun. Okay, so that's it guys. So, tapos kung meron kayong mga tanong pa na mga ano, kailangan nyo mag-present ng mga figures, no? mas magandang isend nyo na lang yung question nyo sa akin through email or through Facebook. So ito yung guys yung aking uh, accounts, okay? So uh, you can message me directly, yun, or email me directly. Okay, so that's it guys. Ayun, so bye-bye!